Well, hello everybody. I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today we are looking at the number one by Nord von Custom. <laughs> Well, look what I have on the bench today. This is the Norvin Custom Number no. One. Uh, it is kind of the Klon thing, and it really, really captures a lot of the great sounds of the Klon while giving you a little bit more versatility, so you could really dial it in for your specific rig and your specific sound. When this thing came in, it actually had a lot more heft, a lot more size than I thought it was going to have. But opening it up, you can tell why there are some nice beefy Wima caps in there, high-end parts. I even noticed some Cosmos Tokyo pots. I never see those things. Super, super funky. Uh, this thing does have some extra tweakability, uh, three clipping modes, low frequency drive, and two EQ voicings. So what I wanna do is I actually just wanna plug this thing in and make as much noise as possible. I got my 1965 Fender Deluxe amp. I got my Fender Telecaster with Virgil Arlo pickups and string joy strings. So let's plug this thing in and push it to the limit. <laughs> Well, right now I pretty much have the gain all the way off. The toggle switches don't really do much when the gain is this low. This here, what my clean sound is. Now let's go hear the number one. Man, I could just play on that tune all day. Very great for uh, nice clean solos and stuff, but let's move up that gain a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Go even higher. Let's go play with some of the clipping options. Uh, this is the standard germadium setting. Let's go to the silicon setting. You can hear it's a little bit harder, a little bit more percussive. And 
then finally, uh, the shot key, which is a, a popular mod that a lot of people are doing with this thing. It's a nice little mix of the two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rock and roll. Uh, we have that low frequency drive or the LF drive. Uh, check this out. When I push it down, I get a little bit of a low, uh, like a low frequency boost, which makes things nice and fast. <laughs> Now let's go uh, move that EQ switch. It actually has a little bit of a mid boost, kind of fattens things up a little bit too. is the custom number one overdrive. Well, that is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please keep commenting, subscribe to the page, ring the bell icon, get notifications when I have new videos coming up. Uh, my question for all the subscribers today is, when you're buying pedals, uh, what do you want in terms of size? Do you like it when a pedal has like this much power and size, that way it's easy to kind of get to the knobs, you're not accidentally hitting switches when you press on it, or do you like the super compact one so you could really, really load up that board? Write it in the comments section below. I'm really interested to hear what you all have to say. That being said, I guess I will see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.